Naturally disappointed to lose the game. Um, I felt it was a, it was a tight game. It was competitive. Um, we had you know large spells where we had really good territory in terms of putting them under pressure without really testing the goalkeeper. Um, and I said to the bench sort of with 10 minutes to go, I said it's, it's one of those games you can feel it going either way. And unfortunately, it had the same sting in the tail it did sort of 11 months prior when we lost one 0 you know late in the game. And um, the very nature of, of football, that's that's what happens sometimes. And when your luck's not in, it just doesn't seem to be in. So. Overall, you know, never, never like losing games of football. Um, I thought it was going to sort of peter out and, and go away with a point away from home, which would have probably done us a, done us a bit more of a favour. But it is what it is. We, we had to park it and move on. But like I said, performance levels was a lot better than, than what they have been in recent weeks. We would obviously had a tough week, you know, from the London Lions game. So it was, um, it was good. We, we got through the game and. As I said, there was a lot of uh, a lot of things I liked in terms of what we did without the ball. We, we had some good passages to play with it, um, and there was certainly glimpses from from some of the new additions in terms of what we can expect from them. And we're only going to continue to improve those and better them as their time with us progresses. So um, disappointing, as I said, to come away empty-handed. Um, but like I said, the league's very very tight at the moment. You know, a win can catapult you sort of as we found out this week can catapult you five or six places and. A couple of losses can drop you three or four. So, um, yeah, as I said, overall, it's not very often I say it, but you know, there was there was a lot more positives to take from from the result than actually the the, the actual result suggests. So, um, it was about moving on, moving forwards, and I was glad that we managed to sort of turn the corner and, and get three points on the uh, Tuesday night against Aussie. Yeah, naturally delighted again because it's three points is, is all we cared about and. You know, when, when you're on a bit of an inconsistent run, and I think everything comes back to if you can't get consistent teams on the pitch, because you know we're not only just missing one or two every week, we're missing six or seven. So you know, it's it, there is a lot of disruption. But like I say to the players every single week, it's we can either use those as loads of excuses um, and sit there and, and, and get ourselves into into bad head spaces, or we just go. You got to roll with the punches. You got to take the adversity on the chin, which is what we're doing at the moment more and more. The key for me now is just making sure that. We continue to just worry about the next game. As I said, I, I've been horrendously guilty over the course of the last sort of um, three or four months, really worrying about what April looks like, what May might look like, rather than just concentrating on what what October needs to look like. So, the key, you know, as I said on Saturday, on Tuesday, I was really pleased with the fact that we were down to ten men, um, but it was the, the manner in which we went about the performance. As I said, I thought we looked a threat going forwards continuously in the second half. Don't get me wrong, Arsenal had opportunities as well, and we had um, a period of time where we had to defend, especially you know, sort of going into the last sort of five or six minutes, um, and just you know, gutted to lose that one right at the death. Um, but we saw it over the line. I think it was, um, as I said, it was, a, it was a good work ethic from the players. We had to dig deep, obviously down at ten. Um, but I was pleased, you know, we made the conscious decision to, to stick with the two up in terms of Danny Webb and, and Jake Anthony, and delighted that they both got a goal each and both got an assist each. So hopefully that's a partnership we can now continue to build. Um, we're obviously missing a few this, this weekend against um, against Woodford, but like I said, there were, there were a lot of encouraging signs again on Tuesday. You know, still loads we have to work on, loads we have to be better in. You know, we still need to get back to zeros. I know I say zeros and ones, which we've done better in the last couple of couple of games, but we've got to get back to zeros. I think that's really, really important to start getting some clean sheets. Yeah, so obviously, unfortunately, we lost Ethan Creary Saturday. I was absolutely devastated for that because uh, it looks like a hamstring, so could be out for a period of time. We um, were precautionary with Joe Sellers West on Tuesday. Didn't want to do anything that was obviously going to aggravate or damage his hamstring. Um, we are stretched this weekend, you know, but we've been stretched every single weekend for the last five or six because of cup ties and unavailability. Um, but yeah, we're delighted to, to, to bring in Alex Desmond um, from Harpenden Town. Um, goalkeeper, we, we've unfortunately lost lost um, Carl Knox for it looks like long term, um, and unfortunately we just can't get Connor Coulson fit at the moment. His um, knee continues to flare up, so we brought Sean Lockhart in, who's uh, who's done great last two games, and um, you know really excited by him as well. So pleased that he's going to be joining us. And Alex, you know from Alpen, he, he, he amassed a huge amount of experience at the level. He's had over 200, 200 uh, appearances at this level, which has been great for us. He brings a maturity. Um, understands the league, which I think is, a, is is really important, and we've been really fortunate, you know, to, to have such a roster of top goalkeepers this this season. So um, it's good because once Connor's back fit, like I said, it's going to be competition for places. And like I will say, there's, there's this fallacy a, a lot at the levels where people seem to think that you have competition for places everywhere, other than in goal. 
Um, I, I think the opposite, I think some of Connor's best performances last year was when he was striving and, and obviously having to, to get himself into a position where there was competition for places every single week last year. So um, you know, we're looking forward to getting him back because I'm very much of the, the belief that iron sharpens iron. Um, and like I said, Alex is a, a great addition for us, as is your Sean, who's, who's probably exceeded my expectations, young Sean. So um, he's, uh, he's certainly de delivered performances you know, far beyond his years. And um, it's, it's good they're both there tonight, so it gives us an opportunity to, to get some work in before Sunday. Um, Luke Dunstan's still obviously out for a, for a period of time. We don't know, we're still waiting to see the severity of that one. Um, and unfortunately, the injury list is, is what it is, but the good thing is that the depth that we've been able to bring in, the recruitment and players we've been able to, to bring in has given us a, a much greater depth in every area of the pitch. So, fingers crossed we can get through Sunday without any more injuries to add to the list. Um, obviously, we then get, looks like we're going to get a break then up until it's the 31st um, against FC Romania. So, that gives us 10 days in which hopefully we might be to get Benji Crilly or, or one or two others back in contention. Um, as I said, he's, he's another player that we're, we're missing at the moment and he's a, he's a big miss for us. So, um, squads, I want the squad to look a little bit healthier in terms of availability for Sunday. Um, but like I said, once we get everybody back who's cup tied for the following week, you know, it's, it's business as usual. Yeah, delighted to be drawn at home. Um, very similar sort of tie really to what we had last year against Enfield, very similar circumstances. Obviously we played Enfield on the Friday night and they were top of the Essex Senior when we played them. Woodford are flying, I think they've lost once in, in 14, um, 14 league games and I think that was only when they went down to sort of 10 men. So um, we're expecting a really tough, a tough test for our lads. Um, but like I've said before, I'd, I'd never go into any game thinking that we're, we're going to be underdogs or we're going to be up against it. It's our home pitch and the, the message tonight will be we're going to be front-footed, we're not going to be sitting here parking buses. Um, it's, it's down to us to take the initiative. We all know with, with the Vars, we've obviously had a couple of buy rounds, we all know with the Vars where it leads. You know, and every young lad who ever grew up football, watching football, playing football, has always wanted to, to play at Wembley and um, that's certainly going to be a, a big driver, I'm sure, you know, a couple of our lads who've We've done that before in the past. I think they'll be they'll be keen to, to replicate that feat. I don't think it's something you ever get bored of. But we know that we're gonna have to be we're gonna have to play well on, on Sunday without a shadow of a doubt. And if we can match the attitude and application we've shown in the last couple of games, then I think we give ourselves a fighting chance. If we were like we were three or four games ago, where we were a little bit soft, a little bit of a lack of steeliness to us, then they're more than capable of turning up and giving you a good idea. So Hopefully have a good crowd. I was really humbled by 188 people here on, on Tuesday night on a freezing cold night and we've been on terrible, terrible form in terms of consistency. We haven't really did the heights that we wanted to hit, but to see that level of support has been fantastic and I've got no doubt come Sunday we'll be back by a, a really strong contingent again and hopefully like I said, we can give you guys a little bit more to cheer about. Um, we know that if we're gonna if we're gonna have success on, on Sunday, we've got to get ourselves um, in the right frame of mind and, and a positive attitude to go out there to go and win. And that's what we have to do. As I said, it's not, you know, without being disrespectful to, to Woodford, it's not as if Pep Guardiola is arriving in town with Manchester City. It's it's two-step five sides. It will be a team probably that wins the game will be the team that makes the least mistakes on the day. Um, we've got to take a lot of heart from what we've delivered over the last two games. Um, as I said, we can still be better, but I'm, um, I'm excited about the group on Sunday and really looking forward to the game. As I said, we love the Vars, we did what, we're relatively okay last year, but we all obviously want to improve on that, we want to go a step further. So hopefully we'll be back by great numbers again on, uh, on Sunday and look forward to seeing you all there.